Hello. Fuck. I can't do this. I hate YouTube. I'm the official suck. And I'm... I fucking suck. Yeah, there we go. That's the intro. Hello, I'm the official suck, and I'm gonna talk about uh, the speedrunning tournament that I just entered, and I almost beat uh, one of the greatest speedrunners in history. Like, what the fuck? But yeah, I entered a tournament that was run by Cool Cat Gang. Uh, you can find them on Twitch. They host speedrunning tournaments. Um, I think they mainly do Super Mario Brothers 64, and then they just started doing Jack and Dexter runs. Maybe they've always done them. And uh, here we are. I finally get to race against somebody, and uh, it was none other than Aslov. And I'm sitting here like, where have I heard of Aslov? So yeah, they wanted they wanted me to go up against Aslov, and I'm like, okay, well, let's see if I can find their runs, and maybe see, you know, maybe they have a, a a PB similar to mine. And sure enough, if you go to speedrun.com, you can find that Aslov is the number one runner in every fucking speedrunning category for this game. So that's what this is here. This is uh, I I downloaded the full vod. Um, and just gonna go over some highlight moments and kind of explain how I felt during certain moments of the run because it was not it was not an enjoyable time actually believe it or not I did not have a good time running but that's because of my own reasons not because of anyone that was involved in the the community or the whole setting everything up we'll just go ahead and skip a little ways into geyser rock which is the first level of the game and first thing i want to say before anything uh thank you to cool cat gang and Saren who hosted uh the whole event and uh allowing me to participate in this run it was a really cool experience i've never actually like committed to a like jack and dexter run before like i've never actually like ran the game as quickly as possible uh besides just casually playing the whole thing through and that's why my pb at first was like 258 or th almost three hours uh yeah thank you to this whole community this was a really fun experience and uh yeah let's go over how horrible it was for me though yeah i don't think he has to worry too much uh, obviously we see that the uh pbs have a slight difference to them yeah, just a slight difference. Just just a very slight difference in the PBs here. We have a 131 going against an almost three hour run. Technically though, technically I was going against a 216, which was something I got, but I missed one cell. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm sure that this official suck can uh, PB by quite a bit of time. I do not end up PBing this this that that was the saddest thing about this run is that I do not end up PBing but we'll get into that later. So here is this is the first plant boss this is the first boss of the game uh, and there is a way uh, to actually get him to like fucking go through his cycle quicker but I ended up fucking dying here. One of the biggest jumps that are done in the game is this in the Sentinel Beach, where you're supposed to climb up this little building, whatever the fuck you want to call it, uh, and there's uh, lurkers at the top, kill them, and then you're supposed to do a boosted dam, a dam boosted uppercut from this ledge to the next pillar. So... I instantly fuck it up here. I fuck it. I royally fuck it up. I try. I give it a try, but I fucked it royally. And then I would say for the most part, my run wasn't too bad. You know, it was like I had shit down. Like I knew what I was doing. I know where, where I was going. I know what I was getting. The thing is like I have so I get so overwhelmed because there's so many like things going on. There's just there's just so many overwhelming moments in, in, in these runs because, you know, you you can watch multiple people run this game and, and you can try and like you know memorize as much as you can be like, oh actually i could save some time here i could do this here you do that there but you know sometimes you get stuck in your old ways as well and then you start playing the game like as if, as if you're just casually playing you don't even really realize it so there's like multiple factors that when it comes into when it comes to playing when it came for me personally when it came to running this game like because i i play this game i loved this game when i was a kid and played it like almost every day since i was like a teenager then going and then and then having to jump to this where i have to beat the game as quickly as possible and collect absolutely everything like 
I was definitely overwhelmed. I was definitely not like ready for what was to come during this. Um, let's see here. I do something kind of epic here in the city. All right, all right, all right. This is the part that matters. This is where I do a cool sick glitch. That's all that matters. Wait, is he going for button clip? Let's go. No. Oh, yes, he is. Did you just, did you just, did you just miss what happened? Yeah, as I've got stalagmite hops, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. They're tr they're trying to watch two different runners at the same time, so the commentary is a little funny. Like Aslov will literally be busting like insane like time saving moments, and I'm over here like fucking. Do, 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 do. Oh, a gaming up like Jack and Dexter just gonna be over here. Oh, oh, I think I found an orb over here. But here's the thing. Like, I'm gonna let them speak uh, and kind of kind of explain. I don't know if they've explained fully, but. Uh, I'm just going to show you this cool thing that I did here. Yeah, he, he did. Like, can you comment on that, please? I didn't know the name yeah. of it. That, that was decent. Um. <laughs> I'm going to Yeah, scream. so that cell has multiple ways to get it. Um, there's tree hops. There's stalagmite hops, which you just saw Aslov do. Uh, sorry, I'm watching Sun trying to get it. Ooh, looks like he got it. Let's go. Then, oh, oh. Did he, nice, he got it. Let's go. Let's That's go. Huge. That, that no is go not a, for you. That is not an easy trick. But oh, he that's did so it. Cool. Wait, I didn't realize that. If you had already gone down and loaded it, he just. Wait. I've never seen that. He he just spawned on top of the thing. It could just go right in. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, Usually he's just you have showed to you something. I actually had no idea you could do that. Yeah, what can I say? What can I say? I'm a, I'm a real gamer sometimes. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Yeah, so there's a moment in the game where you can basically jump out of bounds and grab this power cell and then you can just get into this and there's like a little submarine in this level and it takes you back up to the surface. So instead of having to like backtrace all the way back, you just collect everything and then do this cell last, jump down into this little barrier and get back up. There is a quicker way, but this is just my way that saves me time. It was so cool to uh, to go back and rewatch the VOD and 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 see that I had done something that they that someone who's probably a more casual runner of the game was just like, well, I didn't even know he could. What you could do that? What the fuck? Now, this is. This was this was the worst part. This was by far the worst fucking part. So as you can see in this video, my the my camera gets a little a little dark, a little spooky, and that's because I didn't have I was so focused on the game, I didn't have time to like pay attention to like lighting and camera and make sure any of that is okay. So my camera just gets a little fucked up here. I but it's a perfect representation of what's going on is me literally going into a like Ma absolute manic episode where I just for the fucking love of Christ cannot make this jump I've practiced this jump multiple times there I end up killing myself there I am beyond pissed I am slamming the table I'm wanting to snap a controller at this point I'm like this run is dead in the water it, I eat up four whole minutes in this area uh, I'm just gonna skip through I'm skipping forward by 30 seconds, and as you can tell, I'm still failing this, like just hardcorely. Eventually, I do get it. Um, there, yeah, see, I eventually do get it. But then we meet my next mortal enemy of this run. Shortly, shortly after, you're supposed. What I'm doing here is very simple. It's a backward cell. So what you do is you just you're supposed to you know make that first jump I showed, and then you go up to this wall and if you perform a jump spin kick just right jack will be able to catch the grass and you can get up grab this cell die and then go back but i couldn't find the clicked i could not find the g spot of this fucking area for some fucking horrible reason uh and that also resides or results in multiple multiple minutes being wasted over here i am just in total despair i am given up i'm depressed i am 
in just the worst mood ever as I'm still attempt. But that's the thing. Like, I don't know. In my head, I was just like, I know I can get this. You know, there's just some part of me that kept telling me to go get it to do this part. And then let's see here. I eventually get it. And that was just the worst. Oops. <laughs> So yeah, here we do boosted uppercut, and then I'm gonna attempt a cutscene skip. Um, we'll go ahead back a few seconds and play some commentary. This is pretty good. A lot of like the moves of mistakes were like from this controller. It's just the analog stick is kind of sick sometimes. I hit the like the last page. You did. I I pointed out to him and I was like, can you please comment on this? Because I don't know what it's. Did he get it? He got it! Let's go! He got red sage! Oh! Yo, nice. Oh, that's, that's amazing. He doesn't go for blue sage skip, but he but he gets red sage skip first try. <laughs> see, and that's, the, and that's, yeah, see, he makes that comment, and I go... What? What? Yeah, when I w went and replayed this back over, he says that, I go, There's a blue sage skip? Are you shitting me? I didn't know that was a thing. So now I'm, go I'm, research I'm Googling and doing all that. Uh, 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 trying to figure it out. I'm still so upset at this point. Like, I am beyond pissed. Like, I'm glad I got that cutscene skip, like, fairly first try, you know, not, like, completely, but... Here's another highlight moment. Uh, I'm finishing up getting all the orbs here in Spider Cave. Uh, to where eventually we get to this section, and this is apparently really hard, but I get it first try here. First try. Okay. All right. So I've just you know first try. Very yeah, nice. Yep. Compared to what Saren did the other day, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did actually get to catch that part of that stream just before uh, this day of runs. I think it was just the day before this, and Saren had. Uh, done this part in Jack and Dexter trying to get the yellow eco into the spider cave to get the orbs and was there for quite some time um and yeah I, I I basically saw that and I was just like I have to get this in one try I have to and honestly I surprised myself I did not think I was actually gonna get it like it's I've done it a few times and I've never done it like consistently that's also probably the biggest craziest part about this run is that like I have no consistent like full game run as I'm doing like this run that I did for this this tournament was just a run as if I was practicing almost you know just kind of casually running as casually speed running as quickly as possible you know <laughs> here are the match results at the end Aslov came out with an ass blasting 13306 and I come with a poor man's two hour and 24 minute run uh which is probably my most official run that i have to date uh i still technically want to put it a put it at a 216 this was my first run and then there was a second one and the second one is just plain horrible so after that first L with Aslov, uh, you know, I really thought I was going to get him there, but for some reason he, uh, you know, he really surpassed and got some, he got a couple good skips, I guess, but you know, for the most part, it was all right. I eventually uh, would be moved on to the loser's bracket uh, where I would then go to race against Bintendo, who I was not familiar with, but I do follow now on, uh, on like Twitch. Uh, but this was my royal fuck up. So... Previous to this, I had done Forbidden Jungle, and as you probably can already tell, the beams aren't fully connected. 
I had done a uh, save load when connecting the last mirror, the last beam right there, that one. And as you can see, it should be connected to, you know, the beam that then connects it to the mayor's house. But for whatever reason, uh, 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 I soft locked the game there. Literally just watch someone do this in a run. Why did... It is fucking connected! What is going on? Yeah, it just didn't connect for some godforsaken reason and completely fucked me. Completely fucked my whole run. Right at the beginning. Right at the beginning. I didn't even I didn't even know that was a fucking thing. I was fucking pissed, to say the least, that I had absolutely goofed myself here in this run. Really sucked. It officially sucked, you could say. Oh. Over, yeah, I still had a good time, you know. Uh, actually, not really. <laughs> I, uh, you know, you fucked it. I fucked this up. I fucked the pooch here, and then uh, uh, I was just like, I was kind of giving my condolences. I was just like, all right, yay, I, I'm done. Let's just watch Nintendo now. I'm fucking, I fucked it the whole thing up. And then Saren comes in and is just like, no, just keep going, just keep playing, keep playing. You're good, keep playing. Oh, I fucking hit my mic. And when Saren said that, I was just like, oh fuck. You know, I kind of almost, I like, I mentally checked out at this point. I was just like, all right, I'm done. Like, I fucked it. I completely fucked it. Like, there's no, even, there's no, there's no point in trying to like get to the end. Saren said that. I was like, all right, well, I'll do my best, I guess. And I also lost two fucking cells in that match. I lost one in, uh, well, right there. I soft locked it right there at jungle. And then in second hub, the Oracle in second hub, uh, I didn't have enough orbs for it at the time, so I was just like, well, fuck it, we ball. And just kept going through the run. I, and it kind of, I was just like, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, I couldn't give a fuck about that orb, you know, something that I could actually get when there's one that's already completely soft locked out of the game, so I was just like, <laughs> we're just gonna move on. But yeah, that was my experience with uh, the speedrun tournament. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm definitely going to continue practicing running this game. Uh, as of right now, I'm taking a full mental break from it, though. I hate this game at the moment. Like, not hate it. I hate it in the sense that I hate myself for forcing myself to play it to this extreme when, in reality, I need... To, I, like, I just did not... I practiced for it, but, like, it wasn't good practice. It was all rushed practice. I want to do better. I'm going to... Uh, one day, I will officially get an official, official, official... Uh, run submitted and posted to speedrun.com uh for a run for this game i i want to i want to have my name on that site i just want to be a, a part of this i think that should be the coolest fucking thing and that's fucking it that's the whole video holy shit we got to the end uh, like what you see go ahead and subscribe go ahead and fucking follow me on twitch i'm live streaming at quite random i don't have a schedule because fuck you and your schedule and uh that's about it all right, have a good one. See ya.